My final question, of course, you would want action and urgent action. Uh, we were at USP in 2019 uh, where the Lodala document was done, uh, initiated by leadership Fiji, Ministry of Home Affairs, etc. Then in 2020, of course, we had COVID, but there was a Zoom discussion uh, in uh, ensuring that we continue to review and take action and uh, audit ourselves that we are doing things quickly because this is uh, uh, escalating at a higher level. Uh, what type of action and from which groups do you want this action to be taken? What type of outcomes do you expect from today's discussions? Well, <clears throat> you look at Fiji's problem, it's a predominantly Itauke problem. It's a predominantly Itauke problem, meaning that it's affecting the majority of the Itauke community in, in a very big way. So if you look at people who are incarcerated, dealing in drugs, it's 90% it's okay. If you're looking at, if you're looking at a faith-based uh, you know, approach on this, the predominant people who do that are Christians, and Christians predominantly are it's okay. That is something that we cannot shy away from. So if we need two specific areas, you know, but elements of our community that need to deal with this, in addition to what government is doing, it's the church, faith-based organizations, particularly Christian ones, who need to relook look at how they are addressing this issue of drug. The drug is the secretary of the, um, of the Fiji Council, of, you know, Reverend Tungi, he said today it's the great evil that has been bestowed upon our nation. It's like it's a sin, you know. So they need to deal with it. Church needs to deal with it and also the traditional Itauke community. They cannot shy away from this. It is part, it's part of the Wuwale, it's part of the Tokotoka, Yabusa, the Matangali. They need to deal with this collectively in collaboration with government. So we will allocate the resource. I mean, government needs to get the police force squared away. It's the main one. But uh, I think immediately to reach out to the public, the action really now must be taken by the church and by Tauke based institutions. And I'm glad, uh, you know, the chair of the GCC is actually talking about that. And I want to support their work. Government wants to support the work of civil society to do it. And we are ready to do it.